Before we jump into monitoring a service panel, we need to understand uh, where power is coming from. From the pole mounted transformer, the primary side is connected to the transmission line and the secondary side is connected through the smart meter and into the residential service panel using two hotlines and one neutral. The electricity meter that is located inside and outside the home keeps track of how much electricity has been used. This is where usage can be tracked but this may take a while as that is being uploaded by a utility and the information would need to be verified by an independent electricity system operator. Here the meter displays consumption as kilowatt hour. On the left there is a picture of utility bill provided at the end of a month or year. You've noticed that the energy rates increase in on-peak times and decrease in off-peak times. So we came up with the suggestive energy monitoring system. Here we are showing that an SEMS subdomain has been created under the DuckDNS main domain. Once logged on we're able to access Grafana which is where the user is able to access the necessary information. Then the current true power total power, total current is all displayed and updated every single hour. Each measured and calculated data holds three set threshold values. For example, when the current draw is low, we have shown a green value to indicate that energy consumption is in good standing. When the current draw is over 0.5 amps, we indicate a yellow value to show an adequate standing. And when the current draw is too high, we have shown a red value to let the user know that energy consumption is in a bad state and energy consumption and cost will rise. We are using current transformer sensors. These sensors were attached to live wires coming out of the circuit breakers. In our system, we have two devices used to collect data from the sensors and send the information to the home assistant server. Here, the system shows that the Raspberry Pi is at the bottom and the ESP32 is on the top. The input board presently uses six sensors per board. However, six additional boards can be added to monitor 42 different breakers under one controller. Our product suggests the user to run majority of their appliances during off-peak hours. By doing this, the power that is generated would be balanced with the energy that is being consumed with some loss. From the utility point of view, if the homeowners consume less energy during times where other consumers are using it the most, then the demand would decline. The consumer, on the other hand, would see a reduced electric utility bill because SEMS focuses on when rates are most affordable. Based on the daily rate, SEMS is able to calculate the energy consumption and cost on an annual and monthly basis. Finally, SEMS can be accessed anywhere and SEMS also provides alerts as well as notifications. At this time, we would like to thank both our faculty advisor, Dr. Jing Ren, and our capstone coordinator, Dr. Mahmoud. Thank you.